g of x is equal to x minus 2 all squared times x plus 1 times x minus 7. Part A. Sketch the curve y equals g of x, showing the coordinates of any points where the curve meets or cuts the coordinate axes. Okay, so let's draw a set of axes out. Here's my y-axis. Here's my x-axis. Right, I can see that I've got a repeated root when x equals 2. I know it's a repeated root because of the squared there. I've got another root when x equals minus 1. And then I've got another root when x equals plus 7. I can work out the y-intercept because that's going to be when x equals 0. So if I make 0 here, here and here. The 0 minus 2 is minus 2 squared times the 0 plus 1 times the 0 minus 7, which gives 4 times 1 times minus 7, which is minus 28, which I'm going to put there roughly. The only other thing I need to consider is the shape of this graph. This is a quartic graph, because if I were to expand this out, I'd have an x squared from here times the x times the x. So I'd have an x to the power 4. So my graph is either going to look like a w if it's a positive x to the power 4, or an m if it's a negative x to the power 4. And if I were to expand this out, I would have a positive x squared here. These are all x's. Uh, these are all positives. So I would have a positive x to the power 4. So it is going to look something like that. So just to draw this then, it's going to come down here like this. It's going to go through the minus 28 here. It's going to come back up to 2 here. Remember, 2 was the repeated root because of the squared. So that means it's going to come back down there from 2 and then back through at 7 there. Um, I've drawn mine like that. If you drew yours slightly differently, so you might have drawn yours, oops, you might have drawn yours maybe like this instead. That's fine for now if you've drawn it like that. We will, a little bit later on, figure out how to work out the exact uh, coordinates of that point. So you could have drawn yours like that if you wished. Um, but I'm doing mine like that. Both are fine. For now. Right. Um, we have sketched the curve. We've shown the coordinates where it meets the coordinate axes. So we're done for part A. Part B says write down the roots of the equation g of x plus 3 equals 0. So we've drawn g of x, but this is x plus 3. So let's think about what that would look like. That's going to take the g of x graph. And it's going to move it 3 squares in the negative x direction. Remember, that plus 3 on the inside here. That means we're taking away 3 from each of the x coordinates. So that's going to take this graph and move it 1, 2, 3, and be roughly there. So the new roots will be, well, the 7 take away the 3 is 4. The 2 take away the 3 is minus 1 now, and the minus 1 take away the 3 is minus 4. So the new roots are x equals 4, x equals minus 1, or x equals minus 4.